Dougie's here with us today, aren't you Dougie? Yes you are! You're gonna help us today doing reviews! Meet Scuddugoo Pleasant, detective, magician, warrior. Oh yes, and dead. You've seen it all before, some bad guy wants to bring about the end of the world. A few people get hurt, sure, but everything's alright in the end. Well, not this time. Hi there everyone, I hope you're all having an absolutely amazing day today as usual, and today I've changed backgrounds again, I just wanted to provide more variation in the videos. You know, by the end of the year we'll have probably already done a house tour. So, you know, you don't need a house tour video because you're going to get one from all the different backgrounds, in a way. Anyway, today's book review is on Scuddle Pleasant, The Faceless Ones by Derek Landy. This is the third book in the Scuddle Pleasant series, and oh my gosh, what an amazing book. You know, a cliffhanger at the end was great. Such an improvement since book book two which was playing with fire so I love seeing improvements in books and this book was just so so good let's talk about why it was so good let's move straight away on to my ratings I'm gonna give the characters a 4.5 out of 5 I really enjoyed the characters as usual and I think this book definitely gave them a bit more development making it really easy to feel like you actually knew them like you were there with them adventuring with them and I really like that you know I felt like I was friends with both Valkyrie and Skuldegory there was such a clear idea from Derek Landy as well about how he wanted the characters to be how exactly they were going to develop throughout all the adventures and how everything was going to work, how they were going to act to all the situations. Definitely I think as it's a series and it's progressing throughout, you start to grow more with the characters, you do start to find out a bit more about them, you know, all the secrets and everything are revealed, which is really, really exciting and intriguing. You know, you just have to keep reading to find out what's going to happen. I also think there's quite a nice clear change in the characters, obviously, as the time progresses, as they get older. You know, we're definitely in Valkyrie, there's a huge change, you know. She learns so much from Skuldegory Pleasant and that is great to see. You know, I think in the first book she's 12, in this book she's is 14 obviously there's going to be a clear improvement and there is well not necessarily an improvement but a change really you know an improvement of how she is as a character you know she's becoming a better person with all the magic I think it really makes her just better to read about and I loved her as a character as well so epic and exciting really really interesting and there's good degree as well he teaches her loads and he's epic as well really really intriguing with all his dark secrets and thoughts the villains are great in this book as well and I think that sometimes some authors actually don't pay attention to the villains as much as the main characters but I think Derek Landy really focuses on these a lot. Obviously, as it's called The Faceless Ones, it's centred around them. You know, I really love finding out a bit more about them. I didn't know loads about them before this book, but after reading the book, I know loads about them. I want to find more about them as well. Really, really intriguing. Absolutely amazing characters. And I'm also going to give the plot a 4.5 out of 5. In the plot section, as I mentioned earlier, there's definitely a clear improvement since the second book, and this one had the spark I was looking for. I always look for sparks in books, and this really just blew me away at points. It was really really, really good, full of the spark that I wanted in the book too. You know, it started off straight away, grabbed you in as a reader. You couldn't stop reading as soon as you started. It was a really, really quick read, definitely a page turner. You were just grabbed into all these action and adventures that were happening and, you know, the battles and everything were just great, really. I loved reading about them. I also enjoyed how the plot was very easy to follow. And then we're just left with a cliffhanger at the end, which just really keeps you wanting to read on and on and on. And cliffhangers are great. I'm really loving of cliffhangers. You know, I absolutely adore them. They're just really sort of drag you in definitely if it's a series cliffhangers are really really good I just want to read the fourth book straight away but I can't actually because I made my reading schedule and right now I'm reading The Sight by David Clement Davis which is an amazing book there'll be a review on that next week and I'm really enjoying the writing style in that and the characters of wolves and how they're all developing but let's not talk about that now this is a Skullduggery Pleasant review but I guess it kind of relates back to when I'm going to read the others and I think I'm probably going to try and get through them all in September or October time I just want to find out what happens straight away away right now. But you know, I have so many books planned for summer, I have to read them as well. Dark Days does sound like a really, really good book though, I've heard so many good things about it. I think Valkyrie gets a lot of spotlight in that one from what I've heard. Obviously I'm not going to tell you what the cliffhanger from the book is, but you know, read it, you'll find out. The writing is going to get a 4.5 out of 5. Derek Landy isn't technically the best writer, I have to say, and I think that is a true fact. Though I really enjoy his style, it's a really interesting and easy style to read. You know, there are a few improvements that could be made, and you know, he does use a lot of basic simple sentences but this isn't necessarily bad you know we have to sort of verge away from the simple style saying they're bad because I don't think they necessarily are it really just helps you as a reader to follow everything really easily and you know it makes it really light and fun and enjoyable to read even though it's sort of 
dark in some aspects, you know, the skeletons and everything. I never found anything dragged on either, and I think this is a really good thing, because some writers do fall into the trap of dragging things on, definitely if they're really descriptive. Rambling on and on about one point and stuff is not a good thing, and some writers do that. Derek Landy never does that. He always tells us the stuff. Not necessarily always explains it in full, full detail, but he explains most things, and that's really, really good, and then he just moves on. In this case, then, it was definitely a very consistent style throughout. A good use of simplicity as well. I didn't think it was a bad thing. I thought the simplicity worked very well in this book. You know, at times I did want a slight bit more description, but you know, I am being really, really picky. I'm nitpicking right here. I always want to say something bad about a book. I always have to pick out something. You know, there's always something. In my reviews, I don't think I've ever done a review where I've said everything is good. I think I've always picked out something. But anyway, the writing style is enjoyable, and that is the main thing. For enjoyment, I'm going to also give it a 4.5 out of 5. You know, very, very solid rating throughout this book, as you can tell. I just love everything about School Degree Pleasant. The characters, the plot, the writing, everything about it is really, really good. You know, this definitely had the improvement that I was looking for after I read the second book. And I think the books are just simply a joy to read. I can't wait to continue with the others. It's such a great, exciting series. And there's so much intrigue as well throughout. I really just love School Degree Pleasant. And I'm so thankful that actually Book Edit 2011 introduced me to this series last year. Because, you know, I was a bit unsure about it at first. But now I love it. And I loved it from the first book. But, you know, it's just so enjoyable to read. Thank you for recommending it to me. If you're watching this video, thank you. You really got me into a great series and I got you into Warriors and they're both great series. Overall, as you maybe guess, it's quite a solid rating of 4.5 out of 5. I actually really love books like this because they're not technically brilliant, but they're actually so, so enjoyable to read, you know. Some books are actually not written really, really well and they're actually not as enjoyable to read. Sometimes writers just drag on and on like I mentioned before. I'm definitely recommending this to absolutely everyone. I think that you, know, you will all enjoy it. Definitely if you want to read a book about awesome skeleton detectives and magic and just everything that you know is just out of the ordinary, check it out. It's a series that you just must read, you know, you will absolutely love it, I can assure you. And that is everything. Yes, we have come to the end of this review, but you know, it was a review, of course, of Skull Degree Pleasant, The Faceless Ones by Derek Landy, absolutely amazing book. And that is all I have to say, so now I think I'm going to go off and film some more videos today, I have a lot of free time. It's a training day at school, I don't have anything to do, but first, better edit this video and sort all that out and then upload it, and then maybe I can film some more later. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to comment, rate, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all again later.